Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Let's grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks. Let's get into the video. I've yet again got a Diet Coke. <laughs> the addiction in the mug. But you know, like I say all the time, I'm keeping up the energy of the mugs, the vibes. Um, so today's video is a H&M try on haul. So I'm going to pop this down. So I asked on my Instagram, and I yet again asked on here, what shops you'd like me to go in and try on. The top three were new looks. Obviously, I'll give you a new look try and haul. Um, it was H&M, and it was also Marks & Spencers. So I think Marks & Spencers you want, obviously, because it's quality stuff. You know it's going to last you and wash up lovely. New look is really lovely shapes, and it's just really, really lovely designs and stuff. Really, really affordable. Um, and I think H&M is affordable, but I think you want to see what it probably looks like, because I've got the feeling. Now, you might have different thoughts to this. I find when I go in H&M, it is not made for me. I just feel like I walk in there as a size 16 to 18, and the clothes are just not made for me. If I go in there and I get something, it's a rarity. I don't even really bother, to be honest with you. Um, but however that being said, you asked for H&M, so then I went in there, and I was actually pleasantly surprised by some of the bits that I got. Now, I'll be honest with you, I did go in there and have a little look at some trousers and the blazer bits and stuff, but then that's not true to me. My hauls, I understand that I do and bring them, show them to you, but I always pick stuff that I would genuinely wear myself. I feel like if it doesn't it's if it's not something I'm going to wear, then I don't think it's going to look great. And it may look great on you if that is your style. So it's always going to be kind of dresses and stuff. However, I did pick up a beautiful shirt that I'm going to show you with some jeans. So there is a bit of a trouser option in here as well. i um, just try and break it up. So the first dress I want to show you is this gorgeous dress that I found. Now, I'll be honest with you. I say this all the time. I don't keep every bit of clothing that I go and get from hauls. It'd be ridiculous. One, I wouldn't have the money to do that. And two, I wouldn't need that many clothes. Let's get it. But right, I'm normally in my pyjamas. Um, so for me, I very rarely keep something. But maybe I'm wrong. You'll let me know. I love this dress and I think I may have to keep this. So this is £29. It's got a really lovely balloon sleeve. The pattern on it. I don't think I'm doing it any justice, really, by not showing it to the camera. It is the most gorgeous violets and purples and lilacs. It's got this lovely design here where it's got uh, the triple bit of stitching in here and it's all elasticated. Now, I got this in an extra large because, obviously, I get very scared of H&M sizing. Um, but I do think I probably could have gone for a large. So, a large is a 16 to 18, but I got the size 20 because I thought, H&M, I'm not going to be... I'll be honest, I remember being like a size 8 going in H&M and feeling like a wow because everything was ridiculously bigger. I remember having to buy like size 12 to 14s in there in jeans when I wasn't, I was in size 10 jeans. Um, so I went a bit bigger, but maybe they've got better on their sizing guys. So this is the length of it. I'm gonna stand over so you can see. It goes down to literally about this much above the ankle. So yet again, probably a midi dress, but because I'm 5'3", a little bit longer. You can wear this. I did get a message last week on the New Look Try On haul um, about the lengths of one of the dresses. And he was like, would it suit me? It was a black one, I think. Um, I'm 4'10". So I think this definitely could fit you and be nice in length. However, you would have to have your actual size so that the elastic holds it where it needs to be. Like for instance, this is a little bit loose, but if it was fitted here, it then does take it up to a midi on me. So I feel like for length, you would definitely need your size. You couldn't get bigger, otherwise it would definitely swamp you. Um, it's really nice. It's got a nice low back on it as well and elasticated. There is lots of room in this if you do want. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think this looks ridiculously oversized on me. I don't think you would tell, but I just think I may go back and get the smaller size because I feel like it's gonna hug in really nice at the waist and I've got a bit of a gape of material there. So this is really lovely. And it also gives you an idea as well with sizing, if you do want to order this, if I can link these in the description, I will. So if you are ordering online, then you will know roughly just to buy your size. You don't need to get any extra giving this. Also as well, because the sleeves ballooned as well, it's really nice. Sometimes they cut in really tight around the wrist, but there's loads of room here. Really lovely, lovely puff sleeve, lovely milkmaid square neck, which is just so feminine and so pretty. I love this. Now I'm gonna show you another version. So, <laughs> oh, let's whip this off. Yet again, I've only got um, my Spanx and my bra on. So this is slightly cheaper. These two dresses are giving me like wedding guest vibes or holiday vibes, they're so lovely. So I got this gorgeous dress. Now this was $24.99. This looks like, both of these look like they should be monsoon for minimum of £80. Um, 
This one, however, is a shorter version. Now, I know not everyone wants to wear long dresses, um, and I thought this would be gorgeous on holiday. I'd probably wear this with some really nice sandals, maybe some like gold strappy sandals if I was on holiday. I'd probably wear it with some like soft pink high heeled like um, like sandals if I was going to a wedding, maybe a nice little fascinator, pick out one of the colours from this dress. Um, this one, I would definitely have like a bright pink fascinator to match the pinks in these, like that corally colour. Um, and I'd probably wear some nice high heels, maybe in like strappy sandals in this minty colour. Um, I think that's really nice. I'm going to put that on now. Like I say, I've got Spanx on and a bra. You probably always get I've got the same bra on. <laughs> probably do. I just buy my bras in a packet or two from Asda and they're the ones I wear. But I do feel like I need to get the next size up because I'm definitely not wearing it right. It's too far up my back. Right. So I've got this one. So that one was $29.99. This one's $24.99. And this one's actually got like a slip layer in it as well. Well, not on the bottom half it does, on the top half it does. But it's just a lovely, like, crinkled ruche material. It's really nice. And the balloon sleeve on this, I think, is a lot more exaggerated. This is way more of a party dress. Like, if you've got a big milestone birthday coming up and you want that, like, beautiful dress where it's like, look at them in their party dress, I do think you definitely could get this. Yet again, got this in an extra large, thinking I probably could have got this in just a large because I feel like it would be a little bit more fitted in. The sleeves on this are stunning. They're like the Sister Jane. You know when you get the more high-end brands, they've got the really beautiful over-the-top puff sleeve. And like normally, they're just never as well made as that from the cheaper stores. Now, it's got the little tie bit here on the waist. Oh, my God, it's an actual wrap. Blo <laughs> I didn't know this. So, it's got a little button there. So you can always move the button if you do, do need more waist or if you've got bigger boobs and you need to get the bigger size for the bigger boobs, little tip, but you also want it to come in the waist, you can always move the button. You literally just unpick the button and re-stitch the button slightly further back so you can do it up a bit more and then you've still got the extra material for the Babylons. Um, and then we've got the little tie up here in the same material. I love this dress. I feel like this might be. So Gary's already booked something for my birthday. It's, like, it's a surprise. I think you'll love it. So I might actually have this in a smaller size and go for my birthday, my birthday dress. This is the length. So this is like to the knee. I'd tan my legs because my skin is like a weird salmon pink as it is. And I think it would blend in <laughs> with the dress. But it's definitely got like a swish dancing factor to it. I'm sorry, but these dresses, I'm actually really surprised with h &M, to be honest with you. It is definitely too big on the shoulders. I feel like because it's got that bigger bit of material, it's meant to sort of sit high like this. So because there's too much material, like I'm gonna pull it in a bit, it has to, how it should be. That would look really gorgeous because it would then be the puff sleeve and it would fit the proper on me if it was the right size. But because it's not, it's sort of hanging off and not fitting. It's making me look a lot broader than I am. So I definitely would say, Yet again, get your actual size. So I'm a size 16 to 18, and yet again, the large is a 16 to 18, but I got the slightly bigger size because I thought maybe I need like an 18, 18, a little bit more on that size because it's H&M. But pleasantly surprised, H&M obviously are up in their game with their sizes. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you this one. Now, a little bit out of my comfort zone, I bought a shirt. Now, I don't really like wearing white shirts. One, because I wear makeup and I get a bit nervous with it. Two, I'm still breastfeeding, so I don't really wear any other bra apart from black, because I just find they're black, I just stick in a breast pad, done. Do you know what I mean? And I like just wearing a black bra. I've got a few soft pink ones as well, but I don't really like wearing white bras, because I feel like I just get mucky in a white bra. Um, Mind you saying that, I've never worn a white bra under a white dress or anything. Anyway, I always wear nude, so I don't even know why that was relevant to the conversation. But I know what I mean. I just feel like I'd get really mucky, like with a baby, like touching me, pulling out to have some milk, if some milk sprayed on me, do you know what I mean? I haven't worn white in a very long time. So you're probably gonna see my bra through this, but this is purely because, actually, do you know what's well? I've got some jeans. I didn't get jeans from H&M. I didn't want, to, didn't want to push my lap too far, put it that way. Um, I didn't think that the jeans would probably fit me. So these are just a pair of my ASOS cigarette pack jeans. They've not been ironed. I don't iron jeans. They probably could do with a little iron at the bottom. They kick out a little bit at the bottom. And what I do is I just get my hair straighteners on them. But because I'm not wearing them today, there is no point. 
So let's pull these up. <laughs> Why is it have to do the little jean dance all the time? Right, there we go. Actually really nice jeans. I've got these in like a soft denim as well. They like kick out at the ankle. But right, I've got these in the size 16, so <laughs> definitely need a bigger size in these now, but I refuse to get more jeans. I very rarely wear them. So this shirt was $24.99. Now this would look, get again in an extra large. So we'll see what the sizing is, but I think this might be quite nice in a larger size. So I love the collar on this. And I'm gonna try a few of the hacks that I've seen online with some white shirts. So it's got a little collar that stops here and then it is actually a wrap shirt. So I think that bit goes through that hole. It wraps over the boob. Let's have it more open and then I think you tie it round, maybe round and then tie it. Hear that wind? That is the wind outside. It is so ferocious. Yeah, see, now I'm feeling like I should have got another size smaller, but how was I to know? Being as H&M are always ridiculous with their sizes. Right, so imagine with a, a nude bra, it's got one button here so you can have a little fiddle with the, the sleeves. I like to kind of make my sleeves look a little bit less serious. <laughs> I'm not going for a job interview as a waiter. I want to be a trendy mum. Um, and then it's got the little collar on it. So this is really cute. If you're having your hair up and stuff and you want to see the collar, that'd look really cute. But I think we're probably I'm going to undo it to do it. It's quite nice. It's not a, it's a nice length. You've got a bit of material. You probably have a little bit less material once it's tied up if you've got your correct size. I'm going to undo it a little bit. And then I'm going to tuck the collar in. Because I think it could look really nice like this so tuck the colour in and then twist it like that at the front and then tie it at the back like this in a bow and I feel like this is going to be more my style yeah definitely more my style I'd wear it like this and possibly with like a nice high-waisted skirt or something or a vest underneath, see, that's really nice. I like the style like that. I think that's really lovely. Or possibly tuck it into my jeans like this, keep the collar tucked in and use my jeans as the bit to tuck in. And then And then these bits get tied under and tucked in at the back. You'll see where I'm going with this in a minute. And I think I tuck it in a bit more to go in the back to be a bit more fitted. I could even pop the collar out with this bit now. Don't want to get makeup on the shirt. Deliberately didn't put none on my neck. <laughs> It might be a bit different coloured, but I didn't want to get makeup on the shirt. That'd be quite nice if you wore like a bralette. I'm not that kind of girl to wear a bralette. But you could even tuck it in like this at the back and pop that in at the back as well. But I'm thinking more like... That's quite a nice shirt to be fair. I actually do like that. I wonder if you can roll the sleeves up on it as well. Yeah, you can, and they'd still look quite cute as well. I don't know if they're too big to roll up properly because the actual sleeve's got a big um, big part on it. Yeah, you probably wear this in nice little tanned loafers, nice little pair of like cigarette pants or jeans or chinos. Wear this little gold pendant necklace, little bag. Really, really, really sweet. Um, yeah, so I do actually quite like this. They did have a few other colours in this white shirt. They had like a pink colour. They also had a black. I'd probably try this in the black as I'm not really a white shirt wearer. I did see a hack on the shirts. So the first one was my idea and the second one, I've done them before and I have seen them online but I feel like they get very samey, don't they, a lot of the, uh, the hacks you see. But this was the one that I hadn't seen before. 
got to show you this hack with the shirt. So that's why I got it, because I thought I'm going to try the shirt different ways to see, actually, maybe I could wear a pair of jeans with a shirt. You're probably thinking, Rosie, this is riveting content. Riveting content. And no. <laughs> maybe it just really works well on the flat-chested models. <laughs> I look like, I like a... I can't even say because it's rude, but yeah. I look like I'm in a straight jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? This, yeah, this is like, this is perfect if you're like a, a tall, like flat chested model and you've got like the physique and you're like back to front and it's all like open back, sexy. But like for me, I literally like I've got my head on backwards. That was a foul. Never mind, guys. You got my little twist hack at the beginning and the other one. But the, uh, the tucking in the shirt weren't mine. I definitely had a little see on Insta of the tucking in the shirt either sides and then the back to front version. I just like twisting mine and pulling it to the back. I prefer that. My mum's always done that, so. Right, so this has been my try on haul H&M. I do like the bits in there. However, I find that if you're not into leggings and stuff like that, then there's not much clothing in there that isn't... How do I say this? Some of it is a bit frumpy like a bit old fashioned -y shapes i feel like if you're um a certain size or shape it would look really good. very um editorial like catwalky in there very very nice but i feel like they've made that for that shape on some of their clothing so it doesn't work as well the ones that would look really lovely tend to be their more casual jersey dresses they've got in there their their maternity range is lovely that's always really nice sizing to be fair but then they've adjusted that size for the maternity so i think that's really nice but i don't really wear a lot of leggings and hoodies i do have a few from h&m they are really nice in sizes and really nice and comfy so if you're into that then definitely check it out but obviously i know a lot of you come on here to see the very similar dresses and stuff like that, that i show you in the videos um so i wanted to show you that whether these sort of bits would fit and look nice i do think they do really on a good note obviously the sizes fit in your actual size which is such good news to hear because normally you don't want to go in a shop and have to buy a size 20 if you're a size 16 do you i've done that before and it's been fine in h&m but obviously today they've made their sizes much better and more inclusive so that's brilliant so i love the, the first dress i think that's really pretty i think the second dress would look even better in your actual size you'll have to let me know what your favorite is um and i do like the white shirt i think with some nice beige chinos and some little brown tan leather sandals would look really really lovely really trendy as well lose my voice <laughs> that's my cue to go bye shut up you don't stop talking so that's been my h&m haul guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video take care see you later bye <laughs>